Hi, Cyberus Bruce here, back with another Ordinal Markup video, episode 41, and it's been um, a few days since last episode, and it looks like I can get some stuff. Like, for example, I can get 1.2 times multiplier to tier 1 and 2, and get reduced the potency of Decorini by 5%, and enough dark manifolds to probably get another singularity level, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I feel, yeah, I can, I, oh, it's not even enough to get a singularity level. This is how slow this game is. This is ridiculous. I just grinded decrementy for multiple days and I still can't get a singularity level. I feel like what I'm going to try to do is wait another day so I can get one singularity level and that singularity level will allow me to get quadruple ordinal points and decrementy from all sources, then wait another day so I can get half decrementy growth below omega the omega times three, otherwise double it, and of course some more dark manifolds. And yeah, that's the plan. I don't really think there's much else I can do. This is how slow this game is. Maybe I have enough olive power to get, uh, no, it's not enough to get a singularity level. Man, it's, this, is, this is a huge grind. And I did not know ordinal markup was gonna have this many time walls at this point so yeah see you in a long while okay i'm back like a day later maybe two days later and i can finally get enough dark manifolds to get one more singularity level i know it's one more singularity level this is going to allow me to get one more singularity function which will quadruple decrementy from all sources so this is huge just a single upgrade took a week to get this, I mean not a week, but like four or five days to get a single upgrade, which is terrible. And it looks like the next few upgrades here unlock baseless milestones. I need one more challenge completion. How is that even possible? Maybe, maybe it's possible now? I'm not, I'm not sure. If, if I check my ordinal points, it's 2E33. What? I need 9E33 to complete the challenge. So that's not possible. There's also multiply olive mul power multipliers by 1.5. Maybe that's what what is. M maybe if I get that, that may actually really change things. But I'm not really sure what I can do here. I think what I will do, however, is keep waiting so I can get eventually get this E1 E12. I'm already 63.5% of the way there. And it's probably only going to take one more day, which is not that much in the scheme of ordinal markup right now. And this will allow me to get more dark manifolds and just yeah, doubling decrementy growth. I, I think it's it's worth it because this game is already so slow anyway that a day is not even that much. So, yeah, see you in another bit. Okay, it's been more time than it probably should have been. So I have two E, no, E2, E12 decrementy. This, I think, is going to allow me to, well, first of all, it'll allow me to get double the decrementy gain and reduce the potency and get a 1.2 times multiplier to tier 1 and 2 and get all the way up to 8 E12 dark manifolds, which I think is enough for the next singularity level. No, it's not. I'm, like, 90% there, over 90% there. And I've heard that Singularity level 24 is, like, a huge burst of speed. So, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I could do. Maybe, maybe I have enough Cardinals here. If I distribute all, that gives me 5e23, which is also not enough. That gets me to do about 70% of the way to this. So, you know, I think I'm just going to keep grinding decrementy for another day. I know, this is like the most boring thing ever. Ordinal Markup went from this exciting, fast game to this boring, this boring time wall fest. So, hopefully it will turn around with the next Singularity level. I have no idea what will even make it like, like this. I, I, don't, I don't think that, I mean... I guess with 24 singularity levels, I guess I can get that, which means I can probably get up to like 25 or 26, but it doesn't seem that powerful. I mean, I guess 25 gives me these two, so maybe it'll be better. See in a bit. Okay, I'm back another day later, and I can get I can reduce the potency of decrementy again, and then I can finally get enough dark manifolds 
First of all, I have a 77 times multiplier to the dynamic factor cap, but finally I have enough to upgrade the singularity one more time. And I know, yes, I probably should have done this to get more decrement T. I, I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot sometimes, but anyway, I finally have enough singularity functions to refund all the singularity functions and get reduce Aleph Omega singularity scaling to times 30. I, th I think that's what I probably should do. I'm, I'm just going to... I'm just going to exit the challenge first, just to see how many factor boosts I have. I don't, I'm not exactly sure how much I have. I forgot even where to check. Okay, here it is. It's only 440,000, so it's n nothing all that much. So I'm just going to refund here, and then get this. And that should allow me to get some more singularity levels, hopefully. Like this should, yeah. I can now get one more singularity level. That's it. I know, that's a little bit of a disappointment, but whatever, it's still something. Two singularity levels in one day is pretty amazing at this point. And now I'm thinking I should probably refund again. And then with 25, I'm thinking try to get maybe these. Manifolds affect decrementy gain, and then third row of incrementy applies to decrementy, which means I feel like I should be in challenge eight again. If I wasn't in challenge eight, enough already so okay i'll go into challenge eight here let's see how much decrementy i can even get i don't think i'm gonna really get that much actually no i'm getting a lot wow this is this is huge i'm getting the same amount in a few seconds as i got in multiple days this is huge the third the third row of the incrementy upgrades applying to decrementy is enormous so I mean, yeah, I, I think it is. Yeah, I can get I can get so many more dark manifolds. This is this is insane because I'm finally experiencing some sort of speed. I'm, I'll look at these incrementy upgrades. So like the third row, this is dynamic increases 100 times factor faster. It probably does nothing. It's probably just the dynamic factor cap multiplying incrementy gain. Like that's huge because the dynamic factor cap, if you can see here is oh well, i'm not actually i can just go into here dynamic factors and yeah it's it's this thing so that multiplying decrementy gain leads to a huge multiplier and just everything also i i'm i can downgrade the singularity to get even faster decrementy growth so okay I, I can get one two of these i can get one two three of these but then the dark manifold is the best part e 15 dark manifolds. This is going to allow me to easily get this have decrementy growth below omega to the omega 3, otherwise double it. This is going to make it even faster, which should allow me to get some e even more singularity levels. So, let's see, one, two, three singularity levels. This is insane. This is the speed I needed. And I could even try to get another singularity level. Let's see what the what I can do here, I can I can quadruple decrement T again. So I feel like I should try to do that other than tr like trying to save for this one here. So I'm going to get this to make decrement T even faster. And now I should be able to get another singularity level. I'm not exactly sure how many singularity levels I should try to go for. But I feel like I should try to go for a lot considering how slow this game often is. So... Let's see, the, the next one is 3 E16 Dark Manifolds, and I think I have 29 Singularity Levels, which is amazing. Like, seriously, that, it, it just feels amazing to have actual speed in Ordinal Markup again. I'm not exactly sure what I should go for next. So, like, with 29 Singularity Levels, I'm not going to be able to get anything else until 31. So maybe I should go for 31, because that will give me, um, second row of incrementy applies to dark manifolds. I, I feel like that should help things. Or maybe I can, this is 21, I know I would need 35 to multiply the olive power multipliers by 1.5. So, that's not that good. Actually, I should probably, you know, I'm forgetting about reduced dark manifold singularity scaling to times 4. That could be huge. So maybe I'll just I'll just get these dark manifolds. I guess I can just get this right here. And then I guess I'm just going to exit challenge.
because this should allow me to get a lot more, like, like with another reset points here, I should get a lot more, sing or at least a few more singularity levels. So let's see, I can get one, two singularity levels. That pushes me up to 32, which I think is really good. Like, all of this, if I reset it again, and then go for that, actually, that may not be the best idea for singular, for incrementing. I'm, I'm not sure, you know, like, how sure, how much I can actually get here. It looks like it's about the same as before. Maybe, maybe it could, it could be improved if I actually, like, I'm, I'm not sure. I only need one E1, E16 decrementy except I do need like more dark manifolds I even get the one singularity level I need to quadruple decrementy from all sources which will give me one more singularity level so I f what I feel like I should do I feel like this is the wrong build I feel unfortunately I'm losing refund points fast and maybe I should just get like the one singularity level I need for this and then Try, I know, I, I feel like I should just, I should just refund now. It, unfortunately, you have to collapse for the, for you to get refund points, so I'm, I'm really not sure what I should do. I could just do this, because now I, I can. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I, I definitely do want this singularity level here, so. Um, but I, I, I want to be able to get this, like, singularity level now. So I, I'm just gonna keep doing this. I should try to, I think... I'm, I didn't remember what the cost was, but it's probably like 1E17 Dark Manifolds. So, it's pro yeah, something like that. And then, that'll, and then hopefully with this, reducing the Dark Manifold Singularity Scaling to times 4, that could really help. I'm also going to go to Cardinals just to see if I can get anything. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get any real power here. Okay, I could try to get some like Aleph Omega here, and that will give me, like, at this point, I'll have like 7E23 Aleph Omega, and that could improve that upgrade, but I don't think it's going to do all that much. I think what I'm just going to do, I'm going to go to, I'm just going to get more of these, and I may even, I'm just going to export my save here, in case, in case it goes wrong, but I'm going to, I'm going to exit the challenge, actually, I don't, I'm not even sure if I need to exit the challenge, I may just reset right here I'm just gonna export again because why not so I'll reset here and then get this see if this will, yeah I can get that luckily so now I'll use my last refund re, refund point so I can get um, all of these and this should allow me to increase my decrementy growth even more and I'm not exactly sure what I should go for after this, because now now I have 33 singularity levels. Actually, I should definitely I got I I I keep forgetting this. I should I can't I, forgetting where all the tabs are. I I should just do this. This helps my decrementy growth. So I feel like I should just wait this out a little bit so I can try to get some more even more singularity levels, and. Then eventually, maybe I can try to unlock baseless milestones. I'm not exactly sure, like how I can get this thirty-fourth challenge completion. Because the thing is, to complete the challenge, I need nine E thirty-three ordinal points. I can get all the way up to five E thirty-three ordinal points. So maybe it's it's like I'm close, but I'm not quite there. So yeah, See, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.